Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death from Above. Today, it is Tuesday. It's the weekly reset. Age of Age of Triumph. Week something. I don't know what the date is or how many weeks we've been into this, but it'll be in the title. Anyway, uh, what I like to do on the weekly reset is to go around to each one of the vendors, look at the re-rolls on all the guns that they have, talk about it, see which ones I like are the best. Maybe pick one to have some fun with later on today, but... Uh, we're going to go, we started Executor today Dejo for New Monarch, and then we work our way over to the Crucible Vendor, then we'll be at Vanguard, Dead Orbit, and then end at Future Oracle. That's my typical pattern. So, Executor Hadejo, I need to see what uh, what what guns you have, sir. Drop them. Drop those pants. Anyway, uh, we're going to start off with the Assembly 2 Auto Rifle. Uh, it's got some decent perks this week. we got High Caliber Rounds, Quick Draw, Small Bore Rodeo, and Persistence. These two will give you some extra stability. High caliber rounds could be good. It has the reflex that I like. It does also have the sure shot, give you that enhanced target acquisition. So it's a pretty good version of that gun. The base stability is not the best, but that's okay. Next up, we have the Free Willy or the Free Will 3 uh, hand cannon with explosive rounds, snapshot, hammer forge, relentless striker, and firefly. I like this setup right here with the snapshot. Hammer Forge, Firefly, or Explosive Rounds. Uh, explosive Rounds make it really hard to get headshots for me, though. Does that happen for you guys? Uh, so Firefly would be harder with Explosive Rounds because you're not getting as many headshots. I like Snapshot. Uh, steady Hand, Fast Draw, and Quick Draw on the Hand Cannon. And then next up we have the Impeacher 5. This one has Reactive Reload. I'm not a big fan of Reactive Reload. You can see the other stuff that it has there. Uh, not a huge fan of Reactive Reload. It does have the Sure Shot. So... Uh, reactive reload on a, uh, a, a what is this a sidearm? I'm not a big fan because you usually don't have enough ammo in PvP for that, and in PVE you probably have a different choice. Then we have the Bad Council Four with uh, aggressive ballistics. It's got extended mag, snapshot, hammer forge, cascade, crowd control. Uh, snapshot, hammer forge, crowd control. Good combination. Maybe cascade. It is a mid impact, mid rate of fire shotgun, so it doesn't have the best base stats. Good talents, good perks. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a mediocre gun working hard. Uh, so it's, it's you know, a gun that you may want to look at. You may want to look at. Then we got the Deposition Seven. Uh, it does have the Longview SLR Ten, which I really like. High caliber round, snapshot, hammer forge, life support, and hidden hand. Hidden hand's good on this gun. I can see life support and snapshot being nice as well. So not a bad combination of perks and scopes right there for that one. It is Void Burn. The Nightfall this week is Void. You know, something to think about. And then finally, the First Citizen 9, Hidden Hand, Hammer Forge, Crowd Control, Snapshot, Flared Magwell. This one's going to be out of control. You need a lot of stability. Maybe maybe Soft Ballistics will do it for you, but I want to I want to see like three stability perks on this, and then I want to go to town with it in PvP for some reason. Just seems like a uh, just seems like a fun gun. Alright, Roni, I'm coming for you. Oh, nope, that's R-Site. I'm so sorry. I apologize. Roni is the uh, Vanguard vendor. R-Site is very offended now. Um, I might have to buy a gun from him just to make it up. But uh, let's take a look and see what we got here. We got the Zero Day Dilemma. Auto Rifle I really like. Uh, this one, Focus Fire. Ooh, perfect balance. Third out of those, wasted. Two-thirds of a good roll here. So... Uh, I would like that if it did not have third eye. It does have third eye, which means I don't really care for it. Uh, here's a lot of stability right here with a sure shot scope. We got uh, the B29 party favor. I like the feeding frenzy perfect balance counterbalance setup on that. That's pretty nice. So extremely low recoil, increased stability. You're going to get that center line shot with this. Very low stability. Quick, quick reload with feeding frenzy. Mag size is 24. Feeding Frenzy is going to help out a lot with that. I like that. B29 Party Favor right now is the pick of the Crucible. Let's see if anything else can beat it. we got the Hero Formula. Scout Rifle. Um, let's see. I have the Storm. Who's next? Perfect Balance. Explosive Rounds. Third Eye. Nope. Not a fan of that. I don't like Third Eye anymore now. I used to like Third Eye a lot until we got an artifact that will take care of that for you. Now it's kind of a useless perk. Here we got uh, the Palindrome. Sure Shot. Check. Rescue Mag. Check. Small Wars. Okay. I like actually small bore with this one with luck in the chamber because small bore is going to reduce the mag size to seven, I think, which makes luck in the chamber more often to proc. And if you have rescue mag, you're going to refill the mag when you're critically wounded, wounded, wounded in PvP. So that's a good gun right there. It's not the best that you could ever roll with that one, but it's definitely a nice version. Uh, each new day, we got the red dot reflex OEG Icarus unflinching brace frame. I like brace frame. Accelerated coils. Mm. And then Hidden Hand. So these two right now are going to be a good set of perks on this gun. And Icarus could be nice if you like to jump. 
uh, which it's destiny. Everyone likes jumping. So, uh, good good fusion rifle right there. I like brace frame on a fusion rifle. That's my favorite perk because I don't care about losing a round in the mag. It's not a big deal. 44 curtain call. It's got CQB aggressive linear compensator performance bonus. Army of one reinforce gives you the range. Quick draw and then range finder for even more range. Those two give you a lot of range right there. Performance bonus I'm a big fan of on shotguns because you get a one shot kill usually with a shotgun. So performance bonus, especially with a four round mag, is going to help a lot. So I can see that being a, it's a good set of combinated perks. Combinated? Is that a word? Uh, 44 curtain call, but it's uh, not the highest impact, so you're going to get outshined by a matador. But you should do alright with it if you don't have any other shotguns. So if you, uh, you're you just starting out or, you know, you just want to grab that shotgun, it's not bad. Uh, Relentless Dragon, Army of One, Lightweight, Handloaded, Range Fighter. I'm not too crazy about that Anton's rule. I think you could find better sidearms than that one. Event Horizon with Take a Knee. Yeah, that's not... It's got the ambush scope, so uh, that's about all I see on that one. Casket mag is good, but it's got stability issues with that. Taking any on a sniper rifle is actually not that bad if you play that way, so I could see that in PvE if you're doing raids and you do take a knee when you use this to DPS a boss. I could see that. I could see that. Uh, quick draw is nice. You like that life support. Uh, kills, though. You gotta get a kill. Maybe army. I don't know. Those two perks are predicated on getting kills, so I'm not too crazy about that. Then we got the chaotic neutral, crowd control, small bore, armor piercing, underdog, eye of the storm, accurized linear compensator, field choke. Moving right along. That one's not that exciting. Something wicked with grenades and horseshoes and heavy payload. You actually don't need heavy payload on this one. It's got max blast radius already. Uh, so battle runner, quick draw, and grenades and horseshoes could be nice on this one. Uh, counter mass, smart drift control. Counter mass could be, well, counter mass with heavy payload. Gives you extra velocity and actually good stability, which you don't really need. But uh, it's a pretty good rocket launcher. If you don't have a grenades and horseshoes rocket launcher, that one will do you very nicely. All right, Roni, I apologize. I called our site your name earlier. He was very confused and a little jealous. I'm sorry. I'm not going to tell us tell him about the secrets that we keep. Anyway, let's start off with the Continental. Uh, this one's not from around here. So spray and play grenadier. Hand laid stock, appended magazine, and persistence. I don't like hand laid stock because it reduces the range. So, appended magazine, uh, yeah, persistence, yeah. Appended magazine and persistence will go well together. Uh, Grenadier, spray and play, good reload, yeah, okay. Reflex, quick draw, OEG. That's an okay roll. I'm not going to say that's a gun of the week, but it's interesting. We've got the Parthian shot with counterbalance. I love it already. Love it already. Then rifle barrel or small bore. I like small bore. You can lose a you can lose mag size on this one. I don't ever find myself getting to the end of the mag on my Parthian shot. So reducing the mag size on it is not a big deal. And then taking the or eye of the storm. Eye of the storm would be good. Uh, it does have the sure shot, so that's the solid solid choice on the Parthian shot. Then we got the angel's advocate with third eye. I already don't like it. Zen moment's nice. It does have the reflex. Uh, no, I'm gonna move right along from that one. That one's never a big. Never a big deal for me. Hidden Hand, how dare you, with Small Bore, Mulligan, Rescue Mag. You could stand to lose a round on this one to get Small Bore, so I'm not too <clears throat> not too upset about that. Rescue Mag's good. It's got the sure shot. So I'm seeing the How Dare You Hand Cannon version good. Uh, it is a high rate of fire, low impact hand cannon, though, so if you're into that sort of thing, you know, I kind of like it sometimes. So X Asterisk with Brace Frame and Range Finder. And unflinching. I like replenish for a special. That's better. Um, so brace frame range finder on the X asterisk. It's a good. This is one of those the quick firing fusions that I don't mind accelerated coils because it helps you out a little bit. Uh, OEG red dot reflex. So that one's interesting. It's a cool roll. I like it. It's fun. Then we have the teacup tempest with hot swap crowd control zen moment snapshot and casket mag. Zen moment I like snapshot or casket mag hot swap. Eh. It's not bad, sure shot, yeah, that's okay, okay, yeah. So that's the best sidearm I've seen so far this week. Uh, then we have the Occam's Razor. No full auto this week on this one. I really am only interested in this if it has full auto. That'd be cool to have full auto final round. That'd be pretty neat. Uh, it does have rifled barrel on a gun. You don't care if you have rifled barrel on, so I'm not too crazy about that one. Now, moving right along to the seventh sense sniper scout rifle mm, we got some perks here that I don't care about it's got the ambush scope so let's uh let's you know just flipping past that one bone crusher a gun that you require to say like that hidden hand small bore quick draw out of the storm gorilla fighter smooth ballistics aggressive and field choke uh, mm, it doesn't tickle me 
Doesn't tickle me like I like it. So we're just gonna move right along. Then we got cluster bombs on the disassembly required. Okay, uh, field scout. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. No. Mm -mm. No. Uh -huh. mm -mm. No. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> a rock Jalal, can you? Uh, it's always the it's always the continental versus the extremophile when I come over here with you guys. It's like you're trying to compete with each other, which I don't mind. You guys can do that. It's a, it's a good look. We got a persistence hammer forge spray and play lightweight extended mag with the reflex steady hand and OEG. That's not that great. Extended mag spray and play could be okay, and persistence is gonna be nice once you get to the end of that mag. So I can see that being an interesting interesting set of perks maybe pre-fire a little bit let the stability start kicking in and then hit the head with the extended mag so i can see that being a good one you really got the keystone with firefly perfect balance unflinching lightweight armor piercing ranged oeg and reflex okay uh just kind of in there not not really anything special with that one we got worlds to come hot swap perfect balance performance bonus lightweight enhanced battery with the red dot the oeg and the reflex uh yeah that's okay I was looking for something to make me think that was better than it is, but I don't see anything that makes it better than it is. Small bore, range finder, hand loaded. Lots of range on this shotgun right here. The last ditch, oh, one. You're going to get a uh, small bore, excellent range. You're going to lose a round in the mag, so a bit of sad there. Uh, Accurized, smart drift, and aggressive. Aggressive will be, will be good. So that could be a pretty strong shotgun. Pretty strong PvP shotgun. Then we got the bitter edge, oh, one, oh. Another sniper, scout, rifle, clown, snapshot, high caliber, unflinching. I mean, if you're good at getting headshots, these guns will be a lot of fun because it's a five-round mag sniper. And you got clown clown cartridge. Uh, small bore, unflinching, snapshot would be a good set of combinations on this sniper rifle if you like using that. So, can't say I don't recommend it. Not the best, but it's not, not that bad, actually. Uh, grenade and horseshoes, tripod, javelin, flared magwell, lightweight, linear compensator, warhead veneers, and counter mass. Um... <sighs> It's good perks, good perks on a bad bad rocket launcher. So, kind of is the uh, the name of the game with that rocket launcher. Good perks on a bad launcher. So, other there have been other rocket launchers just this week that I've seen that have been better than that one. And Lakshmi, you usually have the goods. That's why I come to you last. I save the best for last. So let's see what you got for me. Now, I want to remind you guys if you want to come check out my Twitch channel, I do stream every morning. We'll probably pick a gun of the week and go do the uh, nightfall with it this week. Uh, it's 6 a.m. Central Standard Time. Link is in the description if you want to check that out. I do stream there most every day, which I do actually every day. So uh, go check that out. Then we have the Well Hand Cannon. This looks nice. Firefly, perfect balance, triple tap, lightweight, high caliber rounds. That's a PvE dream. Uh, it's not a PvP dream because the PvP doesn't have the range or the sky, the uh, Skype, the scope you like. So the Well, eh, not so much this week. Then we have the uh, the Waltz. Pulse Rifle, Pulse Rifle, Head Seeker, Perfect Balance, Extended Mag, and Lightweight with the Reflex, the Sure Shot, OEG, that's the gun of the day, gun of the week right there, the Waltz, I like the Waltz Pulse Rifle, it's got a good mag, uh, Head Seeker, Perfect Balance, I'd go Lightweight, you don't really need that mag size, and uh, Secret Round, I'm not a big fan of Secret Round, but uh, you got the Sure Shot on there, so good Pulse Rifle right there, Pulse Rifle. Uh, the Waiting Fusion Rifle. I have the Storm, Perfect Balance, Spray and Play, Quick Draw, and Accelerated Coils. I like Quick Draw, Perfect Balance. I have the Storm can be good. Uh, you know, charging up that fusion is someone shooting you down in PvP. Once you get, you know, low health, the shot will probably fire off and you'll have a little bit more stability or more accuracy as my health gets lower on Eye of the Storm. So I can see that being a good, useful fusion rifle. Then we have the Wounded with Crowd Control and Outlaw. Always a nice thing to see. Quick draw and high caliber rounds. Ooh yeah, red dot focus lens OEG. So I like this uh, scout rifle for all of the things that it does. Uh, it's just a good scout rifle, man. The wounded, nice. Then we have the wormwood. Is it going to be excellent? Oh, it's got reactive reload, which means I don't like it so much. Cascade, quick draw, high caliber, hand loaded. It's got the range, doesn't have the sure shot. So I gotta say that's a, just a just a mediocre version of the wormwood I'm not a huge fan of that and then finally the warpath with grenades and horseshoes perfect balance third eye snapshot flare man well, snapshot and perfect balance are what you're gonna want on that one and then I guess hard launch it's got warhead veneers too so yeah, it's okay I don't know that it's even better than the other one with grenades and horseshoes so uh, there you go guys which gun is your gun of the week which one are you gonna be picking up this morning and which one do you want me to take a look at in more detail let me know in the comments say death 
you know, go check out this gun. I thought it was really cool. You should, you know, have some fun with it, and we should come along. But anyway, if you want to do the Nightfall with me, I'm going to be doing that live on stream in a little bit. You should come by, hang out. We're going to do that on my Warlock. But until then and until next time, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I upload videos daily. I do live streams on my Twitch daily. All the things every day. But until then and until next time, I'm Death Revive, and I'll see you later. See you bye.